Larry Marco here with Marco Custom Fab, uh, coming to you with my 56 Pontiac. I just want to pull this intake manifold off, which is the fuel injected one that comes on the pickup truck. Just going to get this intake off, and then we're going to uh, look and see. I want to look at that valley pan and how the new intake fits on. I want to try and do an oil filler, so I'll talk about that. So let's get right to it. There's uh, five bolts down each side. They need to be loosened off. They're uh, eight millimeter. Nice long extension will clear the intake so you don't have to worry about smashing your knuckles on any of the sharp edges on the top. Let's go around and loosen these off. Here we go, I get the intake loosened off. There's a wire that went to the knock sensors that are in the middle of the engine there. Clipped up the intake. It's holding me back. A couple things. This is the, the cathedral ports, as you can see the shape here, and then the injectors at the top. Anyway, this truck intake is uh, not useful to me, but somebody else might be able to use it, but we'll put that aside and we'll see how my uh, new one fits on there. Okay, so. Uh, on the LS engine you have this uh, valley pan plate here and uh, these two knock sensors. Then you got the cam sensor back there and the crank sensor is just up by the starter. So I want to remove this valley pan uh, tray because what I want to do is, is put in a, a filler neck up front like the old engines. When I cover up the valve cover filler with the uh, old style uh, valve covers I want to put on to cover the coil pack so I won't be able to access the oil filler here anymore. So I want to put it in front like the old engines and give it an old look. So I'm going to pull that apart and find out what I got to do and we'll see how that intake looks on here. When you pop these uh, covers off you'll notice underneath you get a little bit of uh, sometimes moisture gets in there, some corrosion. So hopefully it's not too bad. The cover plate itself will be able to bead blast, clean up the knock sensors but uh, Gotta get the wiring undone, get the sensors out before you can pull the cover plate on this. And that'll expose, you'll see some of the top of the camshaft here at the front. So I'll get the tools and we'll take that off. It's 10 mils and it's uh, again 10 more bolts. Okay, so I got those off. Got the wires off, you gotta squeeze them. They pop off. There was some dirt in there, I just took the air hose and blew it off. Blew it out off camera there, I covered these up and then just blew it all out. So I'm gonna pull out those sensors. But I just, I'm excited, I wanna see what this intake looks like on here. So here's the intake here. You'll see a port at the back, that's a vacuum port. You might use that for your power brakes uh, or anything else you wanna vacuum port off so it faces at the back. You could put this intake on either way. And then the word Holly here is out front. So it sits on the engine like that. So that's good. Uh, leaves me lots of room to do what I want to do. I want to basically have a hole come off of here and have a tube and a filler cap. This is off an old uh, 283 off my 67 Chevelle. I just pulled it off to sort of show you what I'm looking at doing. So I want to get a, an aluminum tube welded in here and put that cap on like that to look like an older style engine. And then with the old valve covers I think that would sort of give it a good look. Okay, well, as you can see, I got the valley pan off. Here it is, the bottom side of it. Fits on like this, 10 bolts. A Little bit of uh, corrosion on the, around the uh, knock sensor. So I'll have to clean that up. Um, the engine inside is very clean. You can see there's not a lot of varnish on it and there's not sludge buildup on there. So I'm gonna be careful. I gotta use a vacuum cleaner to clean up the, uh, the rust there and uh, try and clean up the outside of that uh, that bung there where the knock sensor goes. It seals around with this gasket. So I'll get that done up. Okay, so this is the uh, valley pan that comes off a Chevy LS engine. There's a couple of knock sensors that go down in here and they spread into the block. We don't have to worry about that on the ignition system I'm using. I'm not running fuel injection. I got the carburetor going on top. So these knock sensors won't be used anymore so uh, I didn't want to just leave them in there 
I thought about welding in an oil filler in the, in the front here because I'm going to put those Pontiac valve covers on top. But uh, I need a way to fill the oil after that because there's no oil filler in there. But then since I don't need these sensors, uh, water likes to sit in here. If you notice it gets a little bit kind of corroded in there for moisture. So this way I can just make a flat pan. So uh, there are some options online, but what I, what I did was I bought a piece of quarter inch aluminum and I'll show you what I mean here. So this will be the new uh, valley pan on the LS engine. I got a piece of round aluminum tubing here. Holds the old school oil breather in the front. And when that goes on the engine here, it'll sit on there, give me a place to fill my oil. And um, I can put those covers, uh, cover up those coils, or I'm thinking even relocating the coils on the side of the block. This was done with a sort of a MIG aluminum welder. A friend of mine did it for me. Uh, I really should buy a TIG. I'd like to see this done with like the nice bead around it. But for now, this will do. Um, so we're gonna just install this to get it set up and running. Won't have it running today, but I'll just get the intake on. Should give you an idea what it's gonna look like. And then I have to uh, rebuild the carburetor. I got a Holly Ford that I had lying around and then they'll get it uh, maybe fired up here before snow hits or bring it in the garage. So that's the plan and uh, yeah, so we'll show it on the engine. Okay, so uh, here's the gasket that goes on the valley pan. It's uh, got a rubber seal that's molded right to this aluminum framework. This. Um, I'm going to replace it, but for right now, I'm just going to do this. When I pull this engine apart, I want to paint everything. So for right now, we're just going to set that in place. I'll put on the uh, valley pan. How I made this, I just bought a piece of flat uh, aluminum quarter inch. I clamped it to the old piece using uh, uh, couple of clamps, drill a couple of the drill, drill press, and then put bolts and nuts, and then drill the rest of the holes so they all line up. This is the factory uh, hardware. Okay, there's the valley pan on and a little cap for the oil. Okay, so I'm just going to set this intake in place and just hold it down with a couple of bolts. On this intake, there's a gasket, they're like O-rings that fit in, in the screw. I'm not uh, putting them in yet because I don't want to compress the gasket. I don't want to, I've got to pull this apart and paint everything. Uh, notice the, the, the surfaces haven't been cleaned either, so uh, uh, don't fault me on that. i got to do that yet with... Uh, Razor blade and a little bit of a, a scotch brake pad just kind of go over everything. Uh, clean everything up. So I'm just going to set this intake on just to keep stuff out of the engine and see how it looks with this uh, valley pan, which is basically what I'm showing you here. So you see how that clears the intake there, looks uh, retro and old school. And another thing I got to check out too is these bolts here, they're a little long. On these, I notice if I uh, run them down, they seem a bit long. So I may have to get a different length of bolt, so I don't want to run them all the way in yet. So just running them in gently, I notice that I still have about a quarter inch uh, gap there. Uh, it could be if you ran the original parental seal gaskets, you would, uh, would make up the difference, but... Uh, Basically, you don't use those, you just use the O-rings, so uh, it would pretty much butt aluminum to aluminum with the O-ring in between, so uh, i got to find out why the, the length is a bit long. This is on the Holly intake. Carburetor is messy, I'll have to apologize for that, it's just sort of something i got lying around, I just want to, i got to rebuild it. Just to give an idea 
of what it'll look like. Okay, so with Pontiac valve covers on, you can kind of see over top, that's what it'll look like. So if you're just at first glance, you might even think it's an old Pontiac engine, if you don't really know what you're looking for. But people that know will know it's an LS. So that's the look I'm going for. Uh, I think I'm going to actually put the covers, uh, I'm going to use adapters that actually use, for the, where it's like an adapter that goes on the, the cylinder head, and then the valve cover bolts to that and holds back the oil. Uh, this way I can, I'll relocate the coil packs. I just think it'll make uh, for a cleaner engine uh, install. And I gotta make some clearance on the firewall to clear these valve covers anyway, which is why they're not quite sitting down all the way. But anyway, that's uh, where I'm at with that. Okay, so yeah, the, the, that's all I wanted to show you was to get rid of this original piece that goes in the valley pan there and uh, show you the piece I made. I wanna get this thing fired up. I really, I just, I gotta go through it, uh, you know, clean it all up, paint it. Um, I wanna finish up the header tubes, just been kinda busy, so we'll get all that done. So next time I do a video on this engine, uh, we're just gonna set up, the, we do the carburetor, put it on there, get the intake bolted down correctly. Probably uh, just rough in the ignition system, maybe just bolt them on top of the valve covers for now, just to hear this thing fire up and run. And then, uh, the engine will have to come out again and get all repainted and everything like that. The chassis has to be sandblasted. Got to do some body work to the car too as well. So anyway, uh, if you like, please subscribe. I hope you enjoy this video. Until next time.